So I have like a double date tomorrow in Atlanta. Romanticize your life. That's better. Hey babies. Hey besties. Hey friends. Welcome to another Chloe 5050 vlog. We here. Life is good. Last time we spoke, last vlog, I told y'all I moved. And this is like Mm, the day after well the day before i actually told y'all that i moved so yes um I actually headed to my friend's diamond house we're about to have a girls night drinks i don't know if it's hookah i hope it's hookah some movies my uber is outside so come on y'all let's go i unpacked the most i could today pay the boxes on mine y'all gonna have to see them until it's done and that's it and i don't got nothing else to say let's go to dimes and have some fun because i deserve i deserve <laughs> I deserve. I've been unpacking this hoe all day. Ho. And I just want to say as well, thank you for all the support and the love that y'all give me. It keeps me motivated, keeps me going. And we're going to decorate all three, all four floors, all three bedrooms, and all four bathrooms together. So guess what? This is about to be a Martha Stewart network for the next like three months. So if you're new here, Get ready for that. We give a lot of fashion, but we better get at home tees. All right, hey. bye. Gotta go. So I'm here with him some fun. Cause I'm in a house. I need to enjoy with the friends. What you can have. Cheers, girl. <laughs> now i am about to go work to get this moving block up for y'all i'm checking out a new cafe but before we do that we're gonna go downstairs and unbox some amazon stuff i got from my kitchen and i now have an amazon storefront so the link is in the uh, bio so check out my amazon storefront shop my kitchen like i said it's supposed to be a lot of home content oh by the way if you're new here i am chloe 5050 50 states, 50 countries, travel around the world, but I just moved to Houston, Texas from Miami, Florida. This will be linked as well. Like I said, I'm about to go work out. And y'all know how I feel about aloe. I have on the super cute aloe set. So tea, so bomb. And I don't know how I got a little bit of ass because I've been eating crazy these past couple weeks, but I'm back. I'm getting back into my routine, and I love that for me. Um, I know my bathroom's already empty, but <laughs> I guess I just moved in. I just moved in like this weekend, so bear with me. Okay. Back to the outfit, very tea. It hugs you, good support with the bra. I will link it in my Mavely on my link tree, and of course, my link tree is also linked here, here in the bio, so I just wanted to show y'all because I love aloe, like it really just holds you sis like i feel like if you look good you work out good you feel good you know confidence level is up i know when i feel good i go a little harder when i look good i feel good and that's just that happy monday i hope everybody's oh and it's juneteenth happy juneteenth i hope everybody's having just an amazing amazing week like this is gonna be top tier for all of us as far as what i got planned you know i always got something planned let me close my little closet because y'all can't see that till it's done. So man, door closed, honey. Door closed. But what do I have planned this week? So I'm actually going to say Atlanta Wednesday. Oh, and then it's so exciting for my girlies. 
this will have already happened but i am looking up with my saint lucia girlies that live in atlanta we're going out to pasha for food and drinks on saturday i actually got to make those reservations because i'm trying to get us outside seating so that's pretty much what i have i also have a ferrari event in atlanta that's why i'm going there so ferrari event meeting up with the girlies from saint lucia and that's pretty much my weekend and i'm back home in houston i actually am taking a big jump in my personal life but i don't know if i'm ready to share that with y'all yet so we'll see but that's what's going on this week oh and my mom is coming too but i think that's next week so that's a different vlog but yeah so let's go downstairs unbox this amazon stuff so i can get out of here but i am downstairs in my beautiful kitchen and i ordered a bunch of amazon stuff like i said i'm gonna tag everything and link it and put in my amazon storefront that i just now opened just so y'all can shop my kitchen because the kitchen is going to be two t so my kitchen is like i'll show y'all okay so my kitchen is fairly large and it has hints of blue in it which i Felt like I was going to play with, but I actually really want to play with matte black, which is not really like me, but I think playing on the matte black would be cute. I actually want to change these handles to matte black as well. So that's like a simple change. I looked, I'm like, all right, it's just like a screw. I can actually probably do that myself. And all the accessories are going to be matte black and how I plant because like matte black can get kind of like boyish right and y'all know I'm a girly girly girl so the way I'm gonna make it more feminine is y'all know I love my weekly flowers so I'm gonna just always like come through every week with my white roses my pink roses my lavender roses whatever color and that'll be like the pop every week and then you know when it's holidays I'll switch it up I'll add different things but I really want to play with the matte black I'm even doing the lighting I'm changing the lights to matte black lights. I think that might have already actually came in the mail, so we're about to see. So let's open up these Amazon packages. First thing is the kitchen. I'm excited, y'all. All right, so let's see. I'm opening it up, I'm opening it up. On Saturday, like, let me stop playing around. Cause you know how you be being selfish with yourself. I was being selfish with myself and I said, let me at least do my kitchen, especially cause my mom about to come. I'm about to have company, I'm like, Everything else is cool, but I'm like, kitchen is where you talk and spend time, right? So I'm like, let me at least do that. All right, so boom. So I got matte black silverware. These are fire. I'm definitely going to run them through the dishwasher because they're made in the factory, right? But it's just matte black silverware. So cute. So tea. So y'all can really see. Very cute. Very cute. Yeah, I roll call for the DMV. In my own lane, you could still ride with me. Yeah. No one knows I made mistakes. You won't end, but it's too late. This is the holder. All the knives go across, so I'll show y'all that later. Okay, and here are the knives. It says be careful, so I will. So, matte black for real. I will not put these in the dishwasher. They probably are dishwasher safe, but I'm just like, I wanna keep them matte black as long as possible, so I'm gonna hand wash these before I put them up. So, like, cute little holder, and then you see it. But, of course, I'll show y'all by the time this vlog is over how it all came together once I put it all together. I still don't know this Oh, I think it's like a bowl. I, I bought like a fruit bowl because y'all know I love some fresh fruit and I think it'll be cute. Like I have like little sections in my mind. The stove area is the cooking area. So I'm going to put like the oils and the canister with the beans and you know, the rice and all that type of stuff or whatever over there. And then this area is more like the pantry snack area. So all that um, will be over there. And it's really where I'm gonna make my drinks too. Even though I'm doing a bar cart. So you know, you put your little fresh fruit. I'm a lime, lemon, orange type of girl. So always be lime, lemons, and oranges in this house. When I like to make my cocktails. So this is it though. So I don't know if y'all can see the detail on the inside, but yeah, it's like a fruit bowl. So lemons, limes, oranges, really. Yeah. 
Y'all gonna see the whole setup when it's done. It's just gonna make sense. It's gonna be like very hosty. Y'all probably don't know, but I am super, super hosty. I am the Taco Tuesday friend. I am the pizza night friend. I'm the wine night friend. And I don't have a lot of friends in Houston, but the two I got, they coming over. And that's that. Like, this will be a very hosty, hosty house. I love having things, especially with the fruit top. And I'm gonna get the hookahs. Ah! Y'all not ready for the hookahs. Chloe, what's good? See, what's this? Okay, so this is like a glass vase. I, I told y'all I want to really like make sure I keep on my fresh flowers every week. Oh, the small. No, oh no, it's actually really pretty. Um, so yeah, I got two in case on breaks or in case I'm feeling extra florally that week, then I can get, you know. So it's more like a it's like a see-through black. I don't know what you want to call it, but it's not pretty, but linked once again and when y'all see it with the flowers y'all gonna be like y'all it's so tea i'm like i know since i told you i have more packages coming today so we gonna see bar stills coming today everything i ain't gonna lie amazon came through in the clutch like i really did the whole kitchen but like i don't know if this is good or bad y'all gotta tell me so i'm gonna say i did a whole kitchen for like fourteen hundred dollars with the bar stools i think that's really 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 good but tell me if i'm wrong i don't know because i just feel like I was gonna get some CB2 bar stools, and I'm like, they are nice, but also like, I don't know. I battle because I'm like, at the same time, it's matte black. If it was like a pink or a green or something I can't find, I'm but I'm gonna do that with my clothes. Y'all know I don't wear designer clothes, or if I do, it's very rare. It's like because I'm going to a game or something. Cause I'm like, look, this Zara look just fine. Now bags and shoes is different. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm bougie when it comes to that. So that's how I pretty much put my kitchen. Like my accessories can be bougie or whatever. And even like the main things like couch, bed. But certain shit is just like the bar stools going, they all look the same. Ooh. All right, so these are the canisters I was talking about. I'm gonna label them too. So like they're matte black. They have this, but I don't know. I might keep them this way and label them. We'll, we'll figure out that, we'll figure that out together. Mm -hmm. Label would be fire though. And I figured out how to get some printed labels. So I don't know, I'm really getting creative. Call me, call me stupid. These are really durable by the way. Like these are not like, I could just see there's different sizes. They like metal, y'all. Mm-hmm. So, T, oh my gosh. I can already see the vision coming together just by looking at my little corner I got going on here. All right, what's this? Oh, uh, I bought mad chargers, so I will tag them as well because I need a charger in every room. So I got a bunch, and I'll keep you an update on how they work, but they're template, like, fast chargers for iPhones. So we gonna see, and I'm marking them because don't come in my house, friends, and take my chargers because I'm not playing with y'all. Go on Amazon and go to my storefront and order you some more chargers. Stop stealing people's chargers, y'all. It's 2023. Come on now. Okay, so some I got some matte black oven mitts. Pretty standard thing, but... I like when the oven mitts have like the rubber on it. Let's see, you know, standard matte black pot holders, which are good because I will be cooking a lot, like cooking, cooking. Like I'm about to start throwing down. It's giving wifey life. Uh, this matte black, like I'm telling y'all, y'all probably like matte black so boring, but when I do like my little pieces of like femininity in the matte black, it's going to get like sexy, like. Watch, I don't know if y'all sleep on this matte black, but it's gonna get very, very sexy with my flowers and everything. But yeah, so matte black paper towel holder. I am a big paper towel holder person. I, okay, I'm gonna tell you a pet peeve. I hate when I just see a flat paper towel, just, just paper towel just sitting on the counter. That bothers me so bad. I don't know what it is about it, but I hate it real bad. Get you a paper towel holder, it's about $10, man. Shop the to Amazon store for and stop playing. Stop playing with yourself, sis. It's certain things, you know what it is? It's certain things, hold on, my nose is running. Okay, so I just think it's certain things in life that just romanticize your life. And those are one of them. It's just certain things that like, why don't you have that? 
And it's not that expensive. Like, romanticize your life. You see, I am romanticizing my kitchen. I want to come home every day and see my kitchen and be like, yes, let me cook. Let me make me a good drink. Let me just sit up in here and do my work. Like, I just want to enjoy every little piece of my home. And I just feel like that's just a way to, like, make your life. It's worth living, but more worth living when you are able to enjoy those things those things that are free well it's not free because you gotta pay your mortgage or pay your rent but you get what i'm saying like you excited to come home because you're excited to look at your bomb kitchen with your ten dollar paper towel order that look tea is fuck all right okay those little things make sense candles i love a joe malone candle but you can get a turkey candle. i got a turkey candle right there because i ain't buying no stuff no joe malone or no stuff like that until i get everything together priorities right Romanticize your life, romanticize your home. Romanticize your home, baby. You only got one home. Well, you might have a couple, you might have a few. Romanticize it. Okay, so this might have been a waste, but not really. So it's like, you know, the little sink stuff. I got it matte black. I almost changed the sink to matte black. And I still might. I still might change the sink to matte black. Like, I don't want to show y'all my window because people weird. But the sink is just like a silver color how I was showing y'all the cabinets. I might do it matte black. It's given I will. But that will be like one of the last things because that's like really extra. But yeah, so, you know. Sis, I don't need a, it's the whole set. Y'all need to see it. You know where to find it. You see, like, get to see all this matte black, I'm excited. It's going to be tea in here, y'all. Y'all not ready for the vision. Y'all not ready. Last day. Just to know I'm All right. So, <laughs> this is a tray for somebody that's not me. And that's all I'm going to say. Because I'm tired of seeing it out. I'm tired of seeing it. You got a tray now. Cover that thing up. I don't want to see it. If you know, you know. Yeah. yeah. So, if you understand what I'm saying, y'all, y'all tired of seeing it. Get a tray with a cover. Cause don't nobody want to see that. Don't nobody want to see that. All right, next thing was this. I don't know. I will never sell myself short, cause I know you see me on the come up. Big girl with big dreams and big drip. Talk is cheap, but please. Christmas time. I bought another vase, which I think, well, I guess I can just like interchange them out, right? So I bought another one and it's just like a matte black like woman, like a chest of a woman it looks like. Super cute. One week I might feel more, you know, silver base or whatever you want to call this, like the silver glass, you know, more this vibe. The next week I might feel more this vibe. So options, you know. Cool beans. I'm telling y'all this one be like the littest kitchen you ever seen. I really love for this stuff. Oh, and this is my camera. I really got this for the group trip to St. Lucia, y'all. Because I want to do like Polaroid pictures for my girlies. And extra film. So I'm super excited about that. So let me put that in my St. Lucia like pile. Because I'm so excited! Last but not least of this unboxing, Matte Black baking set because i love to bake i don't know if y'all know that about me i am a cookie muffin type of girl and y'all probably don't know that about me because i feel like i didn't do much baking before but yeah i do love to bake salty and they're all matte black let's open them together but yeah we can do cookies muffins bread cakes veggies well fun fact about me so fun fact and i don't know some of y'all might follow me from high school but high school I was the cupcake girl. So every night I would make about, I'm not lying to you. My grandmother would, oh well she can't tell you, but she'd tell you. Every night I would make about 100 to 150 cupcakes, especially Thursday night because Friday people got money because their parents got paid, the parents just gave them some money. And I would sell all my cupcakes, a dollar a piece. What? I used to make bread and move $150 on a Friday, you in high school, you don't got no bills, you don't got nothing, all you could do is go get food. Now, $150 to a high schooler now is probably not nothing, but I used to make my little bread. I went to Western All Girls, by the way, if anybody's from Boston were here. Yes, y'all, I'm a dub, period. But yes, and I used to sell my cupcakes 
every weekend. I mean, every if my cupcakes. Everybody used to buy. Yo, you the girl with the boys' cupcakes. <laughs> it's so funny. Yeah, like she got because other people sold cupcakes too. But people used to buy. Nah, she got the best cupcake stuff. I'm better hustler. Stop playing with me. This ain't new. This is before Instagram, all that. I think we have my space in there. I really make a mean cupcake and a mean cookie. My grandmother would help me. And she sometimes, and sometimes it'll be free bands because sometimes she'll buy the mix for me and stuff. And I was like, all right, it's free bands. Straight profit. I really been a hustle all my life, y'all. It's kind of funny. I done had about 50 million jobs. The mat flat thick and set, so. We'll definitely be, oh, and I love, you know what I really love making with these? Like off topic, I know we're not talking about health, but egg white bites. Egg white bites be busting in these muffin pans. Like, I'm finna make me some tomorrow. And that is it for my uh, Amazon kitchen haul. But I'm so excited about everything. So this is just a little bit of the stuff. Like honestly, like this is like 30% of what I bought. Like I already bought a lot. But we'll just start with this and see. And I'll put it all together later. If it's dark when I get back in the house, I'll show you tomorrow. So, and we go from there because that's that. All right, y'all. Let me go work and get this vlog up for y'all because y'all got to see the moving vlog because I'm here and y'all ain't even see how I got here. Y'all got to see the process. But So I set up my office in the crib because like I can't focus this stuff everywhere right now but yeah so I'm at this cafe called wild cafe it's like a coffee bar coffee shop bar dispensary they got everything you need and it's a cute vibe it's 1 30 I am here until I finish my vlog they don't close until 12 midnight so my friend actually told me about it and I was like let me go check it out but it's cute vibes I probably give me like a little mimosa and yeah. But then I don't know because I want to work out and I ain't work out yet. So just what I get. So now I don't deserve no mimosa because I can't drink and work out. I know people do it, but I ain't working it. what's today Tuesday yes so I am headed to go get my nails done I've been on a computer all day I just dropped a moving vlog y'all loving it and I'm so happy that y'all are loving it because that was like a very intimate intimate vlog for me don't pay me no mind I just did my skincare routine so I'm looking like a gloss donut but yes yeah, so I'm about to get into my um, maintenance because I'm headed to Atlanta tomorrow night. So, like, I need my lashes done. My hair is about to get redone. My nails about to go get done. My feet look crazy. My feet never looked this crazy before. That's how you know your girl been busy. So, I'm out. These nails done. Look, y'all. Look how bad this is. But that's why you get French, bro. Because nobody can tell. But this is bad. If you could tell, you're too freaking close. But that's bad. But yeah, so I'm out of here. Let's go get our nails done. Because we got to get ready for the A, baby. You know, that's my second home. So, I got to the nail salon too late. I'm about to try another one. And y'all know how I feel up on my nails. So pray for me. <laughs> but at least I'm getting, like, them all taken off. So I'm like, they got good reviews. And I'm really about to be like, look, I'm very serious about my nails. So we going to see. I know I hate trying new nail salons. Like, it pisses me off to the grave. So, let's see. Because your girl, me, her, everything that nails, feet, all that. No, no, no. So, yeah. But that's my fault. I knew I was late. I knew I was pushing it. But I was like, you know, maybe because they know me. They said no. My Atlanta people would have took me. That's why I love them and I stay loyal. 
I hope this other nail place is better. Cause I'm dead ass mad that they ain't take me. I feel like they could have took me. Yeah, it's cute here, so we'll see. I'm a little concerned because it's not super busy. But I mean, I like, as long as the shape is good, I'm good. Thank you. All right, they're giving me wine. That's always a good sign. Okay, y'all. Two hours later, your girl was about to fall asleep, but what y'all think? Been somewhere I've never been before. It's clean, it's neat. It's not as long as I normally like it, but they did good. So now I know. And it's actually right next door to my wax spot. So I will be back. Now I gotta figure out what I'm gonna eat. But let's go get some food. Period. Let's go. Body's body in a day. That's mainly because I ain't eat today. <laughs> All I had was some smart pop that was 100 calories and that's it. It's like... Told you you so extra But I know I'm the same Love me in spite of my trauma Give me what I need instead of the drama Cause when it pop off it's like oh my All good all day but the night We be going so hard on the flip side Tell me we'll be on a day, babe I could keep that same energy Good morning And another little cute and comfy set today I wanna see Two T mm -hmm. Well, it's really I don't know, not tea, but Chilling, but still really killing, you know? You know, you know, you know? But yeah, so I just have one like a romper for my old boutique, rich and cozy. I wish I still had it because we used to really have them pieces. A little mini Chanel boy bag. I still like boy bags. I don't care. I'm not one of them girls like only oh, classic girl. Nah, I get what I like. Here my expensive New Balance. What y'all think? Love them. Throwing them on. And that's the look of the day. I'm about to head to get my hair done. And I'm supposed to get my eyebrows done at 2 and I'm running late. It's 1022. Oh, and I got to get my toe fixed, y'all. I'm not going back to that place again. My polish is already coming off in one night. One night, I woke up and my toenail was gone. The whole gel was gone. I'm like, this is crazy. Let me go because I'm late. All right. Because when it pop off, it's like, oh my. All good all day, but the night. How you doing? How are you? Keep the same hey, Bestianas. What's goody? Y'all, I ain't gonna lie. I don't know what's in this Houston hot sign of weather, but it got my skin so good. Like, I ain't gonna wash my face yet today. I just brush my teeth, put some lip gloss on. And, yeah. Anyway, yesterday, y'all see, I got my hair done. So, can y'all see? Can y'all see, it looks so much better. So much better, like. So they just did like, pretty much the perimeter. So I mean, you can see in the back, the difference. But the front look good and that's what you see and that's what matters. So I think I'm gonna keep this for like another like, four weeks and then, and, and then I'm getting braids again because I'm not gonna lie y'all. Houston is a sauna. Like, I can't even play and try to get micro links because they're going to last, like, two days. It's, like, literally 102 degrees every single day here. Why did nobody tell me it's like that? Like, I never came here before during the summertime. Or I did, like, once in August of, like, 2019 or something. Like, I, I'm telling you, I don't know nothing about Houston. So, anyway, I'm going to get the braids. They're called the Gypsy braids. So, they're the braids with, like... A braids, but a lot of the bundles. So, like, I'll show y'all. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, so then let me show y'all how I look from the front. Your eyes tell me that you don't want to leave just yet. No. My eyes agree. 
it's like literally almost giving like you have wavy bundles so i really really want that i want that for saint lucia and uh, you know me i'm gonna get it bunt length and extra full and i'm being saint lucia with y'all like <laughs> with my extra full wavy braids that's what it's giving us what it's giving us what it's giving honey but anyway today was kind of like a ugh, day i really didn't get much done because yesterday I ended up being at the salon for hours. I missed my lash appointment. I missed my eyebrow appointment. So I have nothing done. But like I, I got my full face wax. That's probably why my skin is like just going. Whenever I get my full face wax. And then I do my skincare routine. Like I've been on it. I've really, really been on it. Since I've been here. Since it's been so hot. And I always make sure I got to get the sunscreen. Because you, you know I don't want the wrinkles. My skin is really like doing what it needs to do i think even the sides y'all know that's the only place i really break out is like on my sides it's never here which i think because you know clearly the camera i'm talking right here but i do break out where i grow my sideburns i'm talking too much i say all this to say i really ain't do nothing today i was supposed to have a flight today then people came to do stuff in my house and i had to watch them and then i had to make sure i locked up properly so i just moved my flight on over to tomorrow which is very unfortunate because i actually had a big event in atlanta today but it's like i gotta stop over committing myself to these events like in different states at this point just because like, i have a home now and i'm like trying to get things together and somebody gotta be here when these people come up in here it was a Ferrari event. They're dropping like a new clothing line. So it was actually like a really fire event that I didn't get to make. But I'm like, you know what? It'll be other events. And I kind of looked at it too. Like I feel a way because I couldn't make it because I said the people coming over and everything. But it's also BET weekend in LA. So I'm like at the same time, it's like it's a big event. But most of the big events this week is in BET in LA for BET. So I'm not saying I'm not saying that it was good that I missed it or anything because at the end of the day I really want to go. It was really nothing I can do. It was really nothing I can do. It was just kind of like these people really need to do this because I don't even feel like explaining what they need to do. But long story short, people was digging holes under my under my floors, like literally digging in the dirt, creating tunnels for wires. It was just getting very serious. So. I didn't make the flight. Today's just been like a ugh day. Like not a bad day, just I haven't got anything done. I really just slept and been on my phone. And now we're here. But besides all that, I do have a last appointment tomorrow in Atlanta. I do need to find somebody to do my brows. I like to get like a nice like wax and tint. I do not like threading. I don't like threading, it hurts. It feels like somebody popping my skin mad times. I'd rather do a wax, boom. So I'm asking y'all, in the comments or whatever like or on ig so if y'all do have any recommendations though about people who do good um well i guess no i don't need it i got a good brow lady in houston she is so good she's high though 85 dollars every time i get my brows done with the um tint but they be looking so good like i don't need no makeup literally when i'm with, with her i literally put on concealer or whatever when I go outside, lip gloss, concealer, and that's all I need. The brows be, whoo, whoo, sis. She's so good. But yeah, so that's what's going on today. Bunch of nothing. But really, the whole reason I came over here was to show y'all what I got from Home Goods. I did get, I did go to Home Goods after I got my hair done yesterday. So I'm actually gonna start on the bathrooms now. I'm gonna start on my personal bathroom first and then work my way through the house. And I wanted to finish unboxing the Amazon stuff because remember we was talking about y'all can shop my kitchen now. Everything will be linked, of course. And yeah, we're gonna go ahead and just put this whole thing together right now because I don't got nothing to do. <laughs> well, Hmm. We'll do Amazon first. Some things I got from Home Goods are for the kitchen, but I don't want y'all to get it confused. I'm just, this is on Amazon. So, boom. Y'all seen the other stuff? It's still sitting there. I haven't done nothing with it. It is all still sitting here. I'm gonna put it away right now. We about to do it together. Now that I got my whole rant out, I know I just be talking, y'all, but y'all be listening. Y'all be listening because y'all be commenting back so i felt like we besties i'm gonna talk i'm gonna say what's really going on this vlog is just like we decorating and 
Y'all can spend a weekend with me. Cause oh, we are outside. We are outside this weekend too. That is another thing. It's so much. I'm just like missing out on telling y'all. So actually, yeah, we are outside this weekend. So I have like a double date tomorrow in Atlanta. I'm so excited with one of my married friends. And then, yes, I have a date. I know, I know. <laughs> and and then we have the St. Lucia Girls meetup at Pasha at 6 p.m. on Saturday. And then Sunday, I'm just gonna be editing all day so I can get Brazil up for y'all, but yeah. So we are very much outside this weekend, very, very much. Um, Now let's continue on with this Amazon kitchen, cause the kitchen about to be tea, honey. <laughs> It's almost like when we first met. Oh, I don't care, it's getting too late. I want you and I can't wait. Don't wanna spend a minute without you. I know you feel the same. So that'll so go come right in the kitchen sink. I'ma show you how to move, how to move with my body. I'll give me what you touch. So different measures. Um tablespoons or measuring cups. And when I'm on my fitness stuff, my fitness shit. I use these a lot to really like, I measure everything. That's the way. And we're definitely gonna get into like, how to lose the weight, how to keep your body slim. Cause right now, yeah, I'm not, I'm not where I wanna be. Yeah. Well, at least I got a little one, two, but anyway, not where I wanna be. These are the key. These help to measure your food, measure your condiments. Measuring your condiments is so important. Got the big ones too, all matte black, so. Definitely need it. Okay, what's this? Oh yes, a citrus press. A citrus press. Like, this is gonna be so bomb. Cause y'all know I love making drinks and I love just like lemon, lime. Oh, this is like something I've always needed and didn't know I needed until I found it on Amazon. But I am a lemon lime girl and I went extra lemon extra lime on everything that's so you put your lemon on the bottle and you squeeze and all the juice come out uh i needed this so bad like the drinks is about to be hitting but the food too like the food too busting that excited me that excited me always needs that don't worry all right this is the next thing mixing bowls I think I told y'all before when we were opening everything, I am a big, big baker. I'm a big, big baker. So mixing bowls are important. And when you make those salads, we on your health kicks. So important for your salads when you make your health kicks. So matte black mixing bowls. By the time we done y'all, the kitchen gonna be too tea. Oh yes. I don't think I'll ever put these in the um, dryer. I mean, in the washing machine. Just how they feel, I feel like, I don't know. Let me see, are they washing machines? They don't say. If they're washing machines, no, I'm safe. Ooh. This real nice. Y'all don't got roaches or anything. <laughs> so, yes, we'll see. And it expands to get as big as you need it to, but I don't know. So come on, give me love. I'ma show you how to move, how to move with my body. Come hit me with your touch and make me wanna say, damn. And yeah, you know what's up. Oh, these are some firm plates. Like, this stuff is heavy. Yo, Amazon, shot out. Like, this is actually really crazy. Like these these plates are like really really sturdy. You better romanticize with your plates and your wine. All right, so yeah, the plates are a one. I gotta put all this stuff through the dishwasher, honestly. Like, okay, and these are the bowls. I like how they're shaped too. They're not like the regular bowl shape. They're like I don't know, like a more cupish look. I think that's cute. Very modern. So there we are with the dishes. I don't need to unbox the other dishes because they all look the same. And yeah, so one set of these, I wish I knew how much it cost, I really tell y'all. But of course, it's linked. Really, really durable. I love how heavy it all is. I mean, that actually really shocked me. Because also, to be fair, I haven't bought any type of like home stuff in a while from Amazon. So I ain't really know, you know, 
what they've been giving lately but they stepped it up as far as the quality i'm saying that from like the last time i really bought amazon stuff for the house was when i bought my house in atlanta and i got some things but i feel like the quality wasn't given with this quality was given and that was that was only january 2022 so in a year and a half amazon Y'all done stepped it up. Everything I have in boxing, it does not feel cheap. It does not feel like, oh, it's going to break easily. It feels like, okay, this is some quality, quality shit. I love that for y'all. I love that for me, too. I got another box, y'all. Hopefully, this not Nothing happening. I won't do, I won't do for your body. So give me all you got right now. I know I'm yours, baby. So come give me love. Aw, this is nice. Nah, this is bomb. This is bomb. So, I don't know if y'all can see. I'm just walking. Whoever puts this up, they just have to deal with the fact that I am nosy. And I need to see what's going on. Okay, so this is pretty much what it is. Nah, this is, this is tea. And then that's the light. And then... Let's see. This is gonna be bomb. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be so fire. Oh, yes. Okay, so I got like, bottles for oils. I got bottles for like olive oil and I don't know what I'm gonna put. Maybe like um avocado oil or maybe like wine red wine vinegar a lot i use that a lot when i cook so that's what this is and i might get two more honestly so like this is it that's the bottle right but let me show you how cute it is and like that's it pour and it comes right out but look it's not over it's not over it's not over. It's something even better. It comes with labels. With all different kinds of oils. So I don't even have to do it. It's already done. So yeah, I think I'm probably going to buy two more. Rice vinegar, vanilla syrup, vegetable oil. Vinegar. I said I want to do vinegar. Like even if like you're like a barista type girl. I'm not really like... I could, I should be, I could be a coffee girl. Like I drink a lot of Starbucks, but I don't know if I'm out of my laziness to start making my own drinks. But if you are a girl who makes your own drinks, like they have pumpkin spice syrup, peanut oil, like they have like all the barista labels as well. Oh, hot sauce. Oh yeah, yeah, I'm getting another set. So cute, it's already done for you. I'm sorry y'all, I need to eat, I need to order some food. All right. I'm back. I had to order my food, y'all, and y'all had to order my food. That was really it. I got some um crab. I'm gonna tell y'all what I got too. Crawfish Cafe in the Heights. Let me know what y'all think about that. I mean, by the time y'all tell me, I would have already ordered, or y'all can tell me like you know, just in case I don't like my food, let me know like what I should have ordered. Something. Give me, give me something. Give me a little something, 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 please. But yeah, crawfish, crawfish cafe. I really just had a taste first. Crab legs, so I didn't get anything else but the crab legs with potatoes on the side. And um, yeah, I don't need nothing else. I almost ordered the pill and eat shrimp, but I, it's never hot enough for me when I get it. And also, to be fair, I got a whole kitchen now. I do bomb obey peeling these shrimp i haven't made it in a while but i'm about to really start getting in that bag so i'm like you know what i'm gonna make myself some obey peeling these shrimp when i get back now we are headed to what i got from home goods one of the best stores in the world period so we just want to start with the kitchen stuff because you already talking about kitchen right so this is just add-ons and i'll see if i can find some similar things on my amazon and Link it as well. I will do that for y'all. Because I love y'all. And I want us to all have just bomb living spaces. Bomb, bomb living spaces. No matter the size. No matter the city. We can do it. The Home Goods actually has some good deals. So I got some martini glasses. For, for $20. 
I think that's pretty good, right? I'm gonna show y'all. Can make my lemon drops in the house. So cute, I can do me like a little sugar rum, blueberry lemon drop, who are you talking to? Don't play with it. And I prefer like the stem, like this, like so cute martini glasses. I just found these so cute, it's some more glasses. But I just love these, like when you go like out to like one of those like, kind of like fancy bars, like what I'm talking about fancy, like really dress up type bar, not the type of hookah like type where the drinks have egg whites and things in them. I love when they have these type of glasses. Okay, there you go. This probably will actually end up going on my bar cart. I mean, honestly, the martini glasses too will probably end up on my bar cart, but I don't have my bar cart yet. That's, you know, oh, I need to look that up too. Um, gonna come, but it's not like high on my list. Like I need to do all the bathrooms before I start getting the bar cart together. Let me start with this. My grandmother was like my mom, right? And she loved elephants. And I wish, I'm gonna start, I wish I was collecting elephants my whole travel life because like that's what she used to love and she passed before I really got into my travel bag. Um, yeah, like I think I only been to one country before she passed. Dang, that's that's crazy. But anyway, it's all right. I love her. She, she made me the woman I am. Barbara Peacock, she did not play. Anyway, I wish that she was around to see me travel and everything and I could collect the elephants for her around the world because that was her jam like she had elephants from everywhere both her sons my dad and my uncle were in the military so they will always bring her back elephants from around the world and i wish i could have did that but i'm gonna start i told myself when i hit 50 it's gonna be like a new thing i can't just i'm the type of person i can't just start something in the middle i have to like end a chapter and then start so when i hit 50 i'm gonna start collecting my elephants everywhere i go i say all that to say I always have elephant de decorations in my home. I have not fully unpacked yet, but I have more elephants, but I just want an elephant in every room because it represents her. She was also a Delta. She was also a Delta, so that's another thing. She was obsessed with elephants. So as I get older, I notice I'm starting to love the things more and more that she likes. Like now I want to cook, now I want elephants around. And I don't know, it's so funny because I used to just look at her like, you so old, but now I'm like, now I'm starting to appreciate the things that she did which is so funny to me we always end up like our parents in one way or the other even how no matter how we try to fight it y'all no matter how yeah, barbara girl she was she was signing out she was baltimore city school teacher y'all let me tell y'all a quick story this out. my grandmother i can say this now because she is not here i'm not lying to you. <laughs> them kids was acting up in school and at Baltimore City School, my grandmother bought a gun to the school and, and showed them kids and they said, and told them if they don't stop acting up, she going, she going to shoot them. She was that type of person. My grandmother was crazy. And then they told and then she was like, what she talking about? I ain't telling kids that. Why, why would I tell the kids I'm going to shoot them? My grandmother was something different, boy. She was a different type of lady. Y'all would have loved her. Y'all would have loved her. She had three husbands, so she know how to keep keep a man. She she kept every single one. Unfortunately, they all had passed or whatever. She outlived all of them. But yes, she knew how to keep a man. Don't play with my grandma. She was that girl. She was that girl before I was ever that girl. And she used to wear her little designer. She used to wear her coach and her Louis. Her coach was like hi and with Chanel. That was how she was with coach. Coach was her jam. But yes. So back to what I was saying. I don't know where I'm gonna put these in the house. Um, I know I am doing an office as well. I told y'all that's like one of my last priorities, but I probably I probably put them both in my office, honestly. Keep me motivated. Remind me what, who I'm going hard for. Here we go. Let's see. Okay, so let's start with this. I got this mint green hourglass. I don't know if y'all can see the color. Nah, I'm gonna keep that like that. Okay, so some mint green washcloths. You know, I'm not using them as decor, but you know, when they're out and about, when you're, for me, when I'm taking my shower, I like my towels and my washcloths to match the decor in my room. I don't be liking um, a red towel and I got a mint green bathroom. I can't stand it, honey. I can't stand it. Like, 
I can't stand it. <laughs> so yeah, so mint green washcloths. There's only four, but I have like I bought like a bunch of white washcloths from Target and a bunch of towels from Target. They so soft and comfy too. So y'all know I got a tub and a shower. But I think I'm gonna use this one just for the shower. What y'all think of the color? Let me know what y'all think of the color. I don't know if it's giving mint green in the camera, y'all. It really is mint green though. Like Okay, this is a little bit lighter than that, but that's just, just a washcloth. So I'm gonna show y'all the other. I don't care, it don't have to be matchy matchy. Honestly, I kind of like when it's not, it's just like different shades, but you get the vibe, you know? And this is the other one. So I'll put these by the sink. I don't know if y'all Now I think this is more matchy matchy. Yeah, that's more matchy matchy. And I'm just thinking like green, it's a fresh start. You know, I live in this new home. So I just thought like green would be a good place to start. And I'm like, okay, I didn't want to do money green or forest green. Cause I'm like, that's more wintry type mix. I want to do like a spring, a summer green. And green means new, it means fresh, it means money coming. So I really wanted to do like, that's why I wanted to do green. I'm really into like just setting those moods and those tones. When I get wake up, I'm in a green bathroom. Let's go, let's start the day fresh. That's why I went with green. And I have like some mint green candles already in the bathroom that smell amazing by the way amazing they're from target i will also link them as well they smell so good i never felt nothing quite like this i get a high every time we kiss can't get enough baby so come give me love all of your love i can't fake it when i'm with you my legs go weak can you I think my heart just skipped a beat yeah. This feeling is getting so strong Love me till the morning, love me all night long There's something special about you My food just came And it's supposed to be a pound of crab But it don't feel like it But we gonna see Especially I got potatoes with it Like this don't feel like no pound of crab Let's see what it's giving Break time, break time Okay, butter. At least y'all give me that. So come with the butter. And one crab. Oh, okay, two. I'm gonna say it should be at least two crab claws for a pound. All right, taking my rings off. Break time. Why did he need this little mini bag? Well, the seasoning is busting. This is very spicy. I chose very spicy, but I didn't think it was gonna be that spicy. All right, it's good. I'm complaining because I was feeling real light. Now I wish I got a strunk, but it's not too late, y'all. I might still get it. I wanna get it if I want to, and I can't. I want to. So first of all, let me show y'all. This bag little. For a crab boil. So they did give me two. They just don't give you a lot of sauce. I need it. Okay. I need it. Let me get into it. I was talking all that shit, but it was good as hell. And I'm actually full. Bit check, bit check. I'm gonna look a little cuter later, but I'm in Atlanta. I'm about to go get my lashes done by my girl Morgs. She's about to slay me. So let's go, cause I'm already late. It ain't my fault though, it's the plain fault. Hey girl, um, what's the code? Nothing I won't do, I won't do for your body. So give me all you got right now. I know I'm yours, baby. So 
Hey, Bastianas. How are y'all doing? Okay, y'all know I'm in A. What's good? And I'm actually headed to my event. I'm meeting my some of my St. Lucia girlies at Pasha just for like a nice meet and drinks and stuff. I got on Chanel, Chanel, Chanel. You know, Chanel. This is my skirt is from Zara. Salty. And my top is from Zara as well. But yeah, so last night, I know I said I was going to take y'all, but I had a double date. And I don't know. I just didn't want the camera to be awkward. Like, I know I could get stuff with my phone, but I just wanted to really engage. And I did. And it was bomb. We went to a place called Americano. Oh, I think it's over. Yes. Okay. Yeah, my bad, y'all. So we went to a place called Americano that's like in Buckhead. It was actually really, really good. What did I have? I had the truffle roasted chicken tea, and then the octopus was good, and the oysters were really, really good. So yeah, but anyway, I'm about to see my St. Lucia girls. So I just got to Pasha. I don't think any of the girls are here right now. I am like 20 minutes late, but if they are here, I'm excited. And I don't think I'm gonna be able to talk to y'all much because copyrights, copyright, copyrights. I gotta, you know, I can't talk over the music. Whatever. Anyway, so I'm excited. So let's go. We out. Thank you, my St. Lucia girlies. This is Alyssa. <laughs> and this is Kiara. And more girls on the way. So it's lit. We just chilling here at Pasha about to order some buka. Yes. Are y'all hungry? Oh, a little. I ate earlier. Yeah, I ate earlier too, but I'm gonna order something. This yeah. Time. Okay. I go. Lori took her shot, period. I know that's right. <laughs> the girls is here. The girls is here. Period. My mom is actually coming to Houston to meet me. Y'all, thank God for clear and thank God for sky priority. Because what the fuck? Atlanta's a zoo when it comes to the summertime. Uh, behind me, that's the clear line that I was just over. Guess where I'm going? Right over to Delta Sky Priority. Tuh. That line is crazy. That's the clear line. I found it. Just a little tip trick. A lot of people don't know. Delta move their um, first class priority boarding or security line. So it's on this end. So yeah. That's the finesse. So this line is going to be short tail because nobody knows that it's over here. Okay. One, I'm a joke. I'm truly, truly, truly a joke. So, I felt like I was pretty on time for my flight. But, I was being greedy. I got some food and lollygagging. And literally, the door closed right in front of me. And they were like, like the door was open. And they were like, they gave up my seat to stand by. What? What? 
I ain't never heard that in my life. Like, I thought, like, I don't know. I guess I just thought, like, standbys come, like, when the door closed. I don't know. But anyway, y'all. Um, so now, mind you, my mom is waiting for me at IAH. She didn't land yet. She's going to be pissed because my flight now doesn't leave till 10 o'clock. And that means I'm going to land at, like, 12. And she lands at, like, 9. So, we got... She got three hours to figure out something to do. So, we'll see how that works out. Because my mom's a Gemini. And y'all know they be Gemini. And so, whew, we gonna see how she act. But I'm already ready to hear her mouth. Whatever. That was my fault, though. Like, I was, like, lollygagging. But, to be fair, my app wasn't updating. Like, showing me they boarding and stuff or whatever. So, I'm like, okay, I finally did see it. But, when I, like I said, when I got to the gate, they were... the. The, the door was open. I could have boarded the flight. They was like they gave up my seat to a standby. So, you snooze, you lose. So, I'm not really tripping. I just don't feel like hearing her mouth or whatever. I'm about to go to the Delta Sky Lounge. Just shouldn't be too packed. It's only like 7.38. So, it shouldn't be packed. And then security was crazy. So, I feel like everybody not going to have extra time. They're probably like, what do you have on, sis? Girl, I got on a bunch of stuff. I just threw on whatever. I got on a sweatshirt with a dress underneath because I ain't want to be cold. <laughs> like, the Chanel bag I wore here. Yeah. My dad. Golden Goose. Flight fits do matter, but look, when it's early like this, it's, like I said, it's 7.39. I left the house at like 5 something. When it's, um, when it's, when it's hot morning like this, I don't care. And if you care, shout out to you. Alright besties, I am home and my mom is here. She made me do my edges, y'all. She's talking about me. Just talking, talking, talking about me. So yes, I look better now. We are actually about to go over to the Galleria, get some food, and do some other things. Well, we're going to eat first, but it's going to be alright. Y'all, I'm so happy. Like, kitchen looks so good. Can't wait to finish it. So like I said, my mom is here. Say hi to the <laughs> And we are going to Moxie's to get some food. We're headed to do a little bit of shopping on this beautiful, beautiful day in Houston. Get into this reset. Get into this reset. Okay, y'all, and that is another Chloe 5050 vlog. Like, follow, subscribe, Chloe 5050 Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, all that good stuff. And I will see y'all next vlog. Next vlog, we are doing more of my kitchen, more of my house. Actually, people are here helping me organize right now for my closet so that's the next vlog it's lit i love y'all bye from houston